all right hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is jolda and we're back again with nine souls so while we did the grotto three mules thing i realized and i was told apparently i unlocked one of the things required for the true ending of the game and true ending does not require a lot of things in this game so one was the layer backstory one which i've been already been doing which is like having a connection with sean sean like giving him artifacts having constant dialogue with him and i've been doing that but one more thing that we have to do is talk to shenong and there's a side quest so that's that's the only thing left to do let's talk all right apparently he was supposed to give me some dialogue i don't know if i have missed it or i've already talked to him about it so we need to go to the village okay i think i think this is a fool who said you could turn off like that i told you a million times the divine one has arrived what's this problem you're having to tell you the truth we have not had a day or night ever since those beasts tore the sky apart our farmland can no longer yield anything I have been sending our strongest men to hunt in order to gather more food. This foolish child, after learning our, of our arrangement, ran off alone to help the forbidden, to the forbidden cave to help. He was feverish and talked about how big yellow snake bit him when he returned. A big yellow snake? Dragon snake shouldn't be yellow. It has been several days of non-stop vomiting and diarrhea. If this condition persists, it will fry his brain. Please, you must know a way to cure his ailment. Ailment diseases? I wouldn't know where to start. And there's Shenong. It's not a disease, it's snake venom. I know about that yellow snake and I know how to brew an antidote. I just need someone to kill it and bring me its venom sack. Red Forbidden Cave. I think I just need to Hi. keep going left and it's to the left of the peach village, right? Peach Blossom Village. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yellow dragon snake venom sack. The venom sack of a giant yellow dragon snake that resided in the forbidden cave. It can be handed over to Shenong to make an antidote. I thought it would be some sort of mini boss. This is not what I expected, but alright. Just what I needed. Damn it. How do you get it so agile? Get so agile, sorry. Practice makes perfect. There's really no way around it. Okay, so how do you make the antidote? Remember how I'm immune to poisons? I don't know the reason either. But when I ingest poison, my body neutralizes the toxins. Whatever I expel ends up being an antidote. So, so he's gonna vomit the antidote? Wait, what? Did you say we were going to swallow it and... Uh, no. What, never heard of mouth chewing wine before? Mouth chew it. He's gonna spit it out. Not blind, that wasn't just chewing. You literally put... Mm. Why are you making such a big fuss? You didn't mind the other drinks I brewed up. The other, so all this time, everything I've had with you was brewed in this manner? Yourself. Yeah, what of it? <laughs> like I said, no one brews like how I brew. It's a little too late to be disgusted now. You like what I had to serve up at the end of the day, right? Alright. Hold on. This will nullify the snake venom. Give it to that unfortunate boy. The shock when he realized that our maximum health is because of the way he brews his uh, antidote. Hey, oh, you're back. I mean, praise the coming of the divine one. You're eternally grateful. You can skip that last part. Every second counts when saving a life. Here's the antidote. What? There really was an antidote? Thank you, thank you. There's so few of us left, so we must try and give him the antidote first. You'll all have time to thank you say thank you later. Fever is gone and his rashes is feeding. Thank Can't heavens. You thank you, thank you so much for lending a helping hand. You should be thanking someone else. Anna? So you knew from the very beginning. <laughs> Also, what happened to your reverend tone? Did you forget to worship me? The humble subject has severely wronged you, divine one. Please forgive this rigorous transgression. Now you're giving me a headache. If God's really existed, why would anyone have you suffer? You should just talk to me normally. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't dare. It would take little for uh, those outsiders to destroy us. Mm. So that's how it is. You already knew the truth behind Peach Blossom Village and the outside world. I had an inkling. I used to be just like Anong, full of doubt, or should I say, curiosity. But my awakening happened early. When I found out about those outside our village and the worlds beyond our world, as everyone else knew, <sighs> there was only one left. But we never expected all this to happen to us. Well, the situation has changed. You won't be able to protect your village by simply obeying as God. What else can we do? Find a way to protect yourselves. Alright, is that it? I think it is. Uh, I was shoveling so deeply that even alcohol can't alleviate it. Nothing, just some complicated feelings. People from the village have been coming to me, asking me to make medicines and antidotes. What a pain in the ass. I'm not really the benevolent type. But they keep begging, so I always end up helping. Some old geezer bought me some newly made bedding to thank me. They also mended the holes in a few of my clothes. 
not used to the other villagers treating me like this. If they're treating you well, what's there to worry about? I was thinking, if I got along with those stupid villagers, what would the guru think of me? That guru again? You mentioned that name a lot. Hey, you have no idea how frustrated she could get. She knew about everything and suspected that there was something going on in our village. No one believed her. They thought she had gone insane. One day, she found a secret passage deep inside the forbidden cave. She said she was going to unveil the truth and impress everyone. I wanted to go along, but no matter what, she wouldn't let me. That was the last time I saw her. Chances are, she bumped into a guard. And the ignorant villagers started saying she was spirited away for her insolence. Before I knew it, we had already chosen a shaman for the village. They used the Guru's story to intimidate everyone into the follow following the rules. What a crack of shit. Maybe the shaman is the Guru. Hmm? And she always wears a mask. Is that why you're always wandering around? Are you trying to find her? At first I did, but the more I witnessed, the less hope I had of her being alive. Whatever, at least I got as far as here. The Guru didn't teach me all those things in vain. I just need to get stronger. Maybe one day I won't have to rely on others. You can always go on your own journey. But you can't even begin to imagine the loneliness you'll have to endure. You'll have to be sure it's what you want. Now let's go to the Empyrean district. Alright, empty industry passages and this was the lift that we unlocked last time on the bottom. What's this? Oh, okay. So basically we get one chance. That's nice. Oh, no. Did I touch that? Let's go all the way to the bottom and then jump. Oh, so this is basically log. Okay, fine. Let me disable this. This probably disables the lasers, right? And what do we get? Standard component. Nice. Okay. Oh, that hits hard. There we go. It's only for a limited time anyway. There's another standard component. Cool, go to the left now. Last one more. Down. Last one more down. Right. What did this do? Maybe an elevator? Yep, yeah, it is. Oh, it got both of them? Yeah, I did not expect that. Oh, one of these. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Where is the... Oh, there's a root node. I saw a root node. A lot of these. Rope things rope swing things so let's try this again yeah there we go so this requires the double jump because it's pointless cool. i'm glad i came here after getting the double jump 
advanced component and that is worth it not too difficult we found both the statues relatively quickly oh what is this guy i want to fight him but i also don't want to fight him how much health does he have Oh shit, why did I not parry? Maybe full control is also not that bad. Okay, there we go. Yeah, not too difficult. Just a giant guy. that does the opposite so we need it to do the opposite actually that's only accessible with a double jump and there we go there we have it so i get one additional double jump after doing the tau kick okay that's the guy we want to unlock okay we can't go there Oh, there's the hack area. Drop the entire thing. Cool. There's no way that was... Oh, this is the guy we want. Oh no. The mini boss. Man, this guy covers a lot of area, doesn't he? Nope. Come on, this guy isn't that hard. Oh yeah, I also have this. Oh, there we go. First try. Dark steel. Okay. I don't think there's been a lot of times where I've actually lost my gin. Like I've died two times, except for a few bosses. But before that, I've always like uh, used up all my gin. Okay, elevator. I didn't realize this was an elevator. Coming signal. My lord, have you reached the Imperial District? I've never been there myself, but I would venture to guess that those exclusive areas must be decked with majestic scenery and magnificent splendor. However, the security level for the living quarters is also extremely high, with many guards patrolling during dormant periods. Something's off about this place, it's too quiet, and the security is relatively lax. Could this be another trap? Please forgive me, but I do not have enough data points to make a judgement. It doesn't matter, I'm too deep in the tiger's den to stop now. May you succeed, my lord. Okay, Imperial District living area. So this is, let's complete the area below first. Oh, this is actually close. I didn't know that it was. Okay. There's nothing on top. There's a place to go to the right. And that's all, I think. That's this area unlocked. So that's one more door. That's nice. How do we get rid of the contamination though and get that robot killer? Not this guy. Not this guy. I mean, it's not too bad, but... Okay, so we do have to fight this guy. I forgot how many attacks he had. But the talisman explosions are stronger. Ah, parry. Oh, 
that is done. Okay, all of my attacks are like a whole lot stronger than the first time I encountered this enemy. I did not expect that. What's this? Herb Catalyst. Perfect. There we go. Or maybe it's not an unlock. Oh, I thought this would be one of those transport available. Do you wanna ride in the container? But it isn't. This is Sky Tower. This reminds me of the G Kingdom. Was that where all these moving platforms were? Oh, that's a lot of money again. 2,500. Maybe an artifact that I, I can give to Shuan Shuan. No, GM fertilizer. Oh, perfect. The tree can finally grow. How long I waited for that. And there's a Tao fruit there. And that's probably a mini boss. No, that's not a mini boss. How do I unlock this? Do I have to get here from somewhere else? I believe so. Let's go back to the pavilion. See if we can buy anything. Modify. Let's do pipe upgrade. Maybe an Azure Sand magazine. That's true. Increases explosive power. Let's no, let's do the magazine first. There's no security. Yeah, definitely a trap and there I already see someone there. Nope. That's part of the gate. They're ordered not to attack. And now you attack okay. This is the only way to beat them. And this is an elevator that does not work. All dark and mysterious. Okay, we restore power now. Okay. Where's the soul? How should I say this? No one's in charge. During the planning and construction of Empyrean District, Lord Fuxi was the one in charge. However, Lady Numa seems to be the only person I've seen around these days. Lady Numa pays little attention to affairs outside of her banquets. I recommend contacting the Dust Guardian Logistics team. There we go, 130. They gave a lot of gold. Out of gin, sorry. What's that? What is that? A Solarian with the virus? That's the only guess I have. This area is a bit spooky, I'm not gonna lie. The root node is right here. Let's rest. I've gotten so used to precise parries now. There's one more elevator. This is the one with the virus, right? No? Just a chest. Maybe an explosion. Let's just get out of here. That was basically a demo that they can't be killed, so I won't even try. Where is this boss room? I don't know what this is. And I don't have enough health for whatever this is. My heart's entangled by the plum tree. Soul seal? No, don't kill me here. Maybe I get my health back, I don't know. It's different with Lady Ethereal and this boss. We are already getting the soul seal. This is Numa Fuxi. Welcome to the most glorious era. What do you think you're doing dabbling in these lower caste pursuits? With the wealth our family has accumulated for a millennium, we can turn this crisis into an opportunity. 
Is the banquet ready? Everyone must be exhausted from getting here. Has the play started yet? That's not Nuwa and Fuxi, so I guess this is only for one of them, right? Do I have all my health? Oh yes, I do. Nuwa, it's been a while, Lee, since when did you become a thief? Healing soul seals is a capital offense according to council law. Oh, has the esteemed Feng clan finally taken an interest in law? You seem to have changed a lot too, Nuwa. <laughs> to be honest, I couldn't care less about whatever your deal is. But my brother complained that you were disturbing our play. I knew it. That really was Fuxi just now. Let's make a deal. I'll grab what you need if you promise to leave quickly. I have banquets planned for every 10 years, but thanks to your meddling, this one will have to go a bit early. Banquets, have you not seen the state of the Imperial District? Or I guess you weren't there when we finished construction. The design and architecture ended up very tacky and the restaurants were just atrocious. We should have recruited more chefs onto the island. That was a mistake on our part. But we make do with what we have. I mean, we just have to accept living in these subpar conditions, right? I'm talking about the horrors and living corpses strewn across the district. There are occasionally people who can't adapt to the soulscape, but there's no need to fuss over a few hooligans. Then choose a past like this. There's nothing uh, the guards or dust guardians can't handle. Aww. Your appearance, however, is indeed unexpected. Huh. You really have no idea. Excuse me, I always feel sleepy right after waking up. Well, I must take my leave. My brother and our guests are waiting. I don't care if you're here for the revenge or whatever, but you should go to your mentor Egog instead of coming up here to bother us. Then just give the soul seal. Seal of Fuxi. Fuxi soul seal containing the character Bing signifies integrity. Well, this was the easiest soul seal to get. Can we get up there? I think we can. There we go. What's this? Turtle scorpion poison, right? Yeah, I knew it. This guy would be her. Calm down. Okay, that's done. Uh, secret room. Okay. Is there a pattern that we need to follow? Something of that sort. Now, we increase our maximum health. Also upgrade our skill. Increase talisman explosion. Or key boost. Yeah, enhance talisman. Let's do that first. Now pavilion. Give the poison to Shenong. Buy the uh, poison from the merchant and increase the maximum health. Okay. Oh, wait. I think we already gave him one poison. Maximum health increased. Let's just buy the poison regardless. Just so that we don't lose the money. Poison. Alright. Give this. Okay. That's one more poison. And yeah. Oh, we need to give the GM fertilizer, right? We found that. So that the tree grows. Give GM fertilizer. Perfect. Next time we come, the tree will grow even taller. No idea. Maybe I'll find some something on the wall to figure that out. Maybe the order will be written. Who knows? So this map is also done, I believe. Let's go here. Oh, is this a memory? How are you doing, dear brother? I accidentally cut my hand a while back. I'm in poor health right now and the wound won't heal. It hurts everywhere, and doing everything alone is so tiring. I wish you were here. Can't you come back to me, even if it's just for a moment? Where are you? Please, won't you come back? The outfit is cool.
but almost forgotten what this dude sounds like he you came back yeah i got caught up with something i didn't think they the disease acted quickly as if it all was all prearranged they ascended after only a few days okay she dies the memory okay it's probably for the better those two were inseparable i'm sorry okay i know how you feel for missing the funeral i wasn't even one with the most to mourn for the parents died okay but something happened to hang the trip home must have been really chaotic they say the hospitals have all been totally overwhelmed Every eyes I saw was covered in white cloth. When I looked down, the ground was covered in these white fungal stars. The whole of Pangaea will end up like this soon. It's as if this disease is depriving us of color itself. Really, I think it's the sea of flower looks quite pretty. As if everyone's returning to their original colors after their suffering ends. Don't talk nonsense. There's nothing pretty about corpses. This is an expected outcome, but for the town now, it's slowly growing out of control. If necessary, we'll have to shift the whole schedule forward by. Yeah, I know you don't like hearing about this, but could you just? The be our destiny. I think that this is a simple explanation. After eons of borrowing from Penglai, it's simply time for us to pay it all back. Creation and destruction, we were never meant to interfere. Are you feeling okay? It's like you're a different person today. Are they trying to teach us that we should not destroy Earth? No. I never changed. Listen to me, mom and dad didn't really leave. I can feel it. Yan Hua is just the transition. It's not the end. Life and death are one, and when the end comes, we won't disappear. We'll just return to heaven and earth. As long as we have lived, the Tao will remember everything. I've had enough. No, let me finish. If I pass on one day, please promise to not mourn for me. Live. Said that's enough. I'm not going anywhere, and I'm never going to let you end up like mom and dad. Give me some time. The new life on Kunlun will be a million times better. I will come back to pick you up once everything is ready. Okay, she dies. Mm. Oh shit. Okay. Don't dwell too much on it. Solarians are more resilient than you think. If we're united under one cause, nothing can destroy us. We'll persevere. Man, that's dark. Oh, this is that place. How did we come here? This is the new area. Okay, what is it called? Imperial District Sanctum. This one's way more infected. These things have gotten so much easier after I've learned how to parry and those talisman upgrades. Oh, this is an elevator. Okay. Oh, again. Final round, maybe. Yeah, final round. Nothing. That's a surprise. Incoming signal. Really? Bad news, my lord. The data from the Imperial District is highly unusual, just as you had predicted. The entire district, and especially the Enlightenment Sanctum, has turned into a living hell. What happened here? Does the data okay. say? With the limited time available, I only have done a preliminary report. I have also provided Lord Kwafu with a copy of... Wait, Lord Kwafu wishes to speak directly with you. Yeah, this looks like a total disaster and the most troublesome kind too. I'm almost certain that those monsters and chunks of flesh mutated from our people. No wonder. I could see Solarian features among a few of them. I think they can even infect people of who are still inside the soulscape. It doesn't make any sense. The Tiano virus should have stopped mutating long ago. I don't have a way to trace the cause yet, but at least I know that in my zone, nothing like this has happened in the last 500 years. 
I don't get it. The Imperial District has always been the safest passenger area. Could Nua or Fuxi have done something to do with it? Nua seemed unaware of anything. I don't think those spoiled brats could pull off anything like this. So I'll continue doing more detailed analysis with Bacchus. I hope the spread of that mutant strain can be brought under control. You'll need to find a way to suppress them after you collected all the soul seals. Who knows how many of more of them can be saved? No matter what happens, we must not give up. All right, good luck and stay in touch. this computing unit right great we missed one of them okay please give me a root node where's the root node there's a lip there there's something there uh go down and to the right damn it that's a long travel we used to have those health refill portals where are those now none of those in the end game no where is it here Oh, root node is right here. Wow. I was gonna go all the way back. Imagine that. But also that's an unbreakable thing. Okay, the music's changed. I'm guessing a lot of enemies will show up here. Or is this new and Fuxi? I thought I told you to stop bothering us. This is a private banquet. You can't be here without an invitation. There's an apocalypse outside your door and you're still in the mood for this. Well, under these apocalyptic conditions, this is exactly what we should be in the mood for. <laughs> Isn't it better to choose joy over moping around? You must know, I think optimism is a talent. It doesn't take away any take any talent to keep your head in the sand. You need to see for yourself, the Imperial District is completely out of control. We need to act quickly. There might be some hope if we can wake everyone up. Aww. You're such a nag. Like I said before, it's not that serious. We've always been low on parts and resources to keep the soulscape operational. Since we left Penglai, countless operation people have already died in their dreams and met their maker. So, it's your big ethereal quadrant project going as planned? I didn't know. That wasn't under my control, don't frame, frame me with that. I didn't uh -huh. know. Ignorance is bliss, no? Don't worry. We still love New Finland, the second home of our dreams. Right, Fuxi? Only here can we can party for eternity, with never ending music and never persistent cash. Enough. I'm only here to collect the remaining soul seals. Hand them over and I'll leave you to rock in your own decadence. I'm tired of asking questions. Fine, I'll hand them over. And you better stay the hell away and not. Yeah. Hmm? That's Luxi. Really? Yeah. Is it that serious? Yeah. Sorry, Fuxi. I'll make things right. Don't be mad. <laughs> hmm. My big brother said you're erratic and you hate the rich and powerful. Or oh, she's gone mad. If I handed the keys of power to you, it would definitely come back to bite us. And Fuxi uh, is uh, infected. Huh? What? He might even destroy New Kundal? I see now. As expected, nothing escapes my brother's keen eyes. We have only one option. Huh? What's the last time you played in a martial arts drama, Fuxi? You're unlucky. Not everyone gets to play a scene alongside a famous actor. I should do my part and play some music for this special occasion. Okay, now that I know it's a boss fight, I wanna escape. I don't wanna be here. The Fangs. Alright, so that's where we landed, guys. So next is the Feng siblings. So we'll beat them. This whole area is explored. The previous map is explored. So I see you next time, guys, when I beat that boss. Bye-bye.